Predator has returned. But, like, he really hasn't returned because it's, like, before the first time he came. But since we're seeing it years after the first time he came, this makes it a return where he first comes. It's a confusing premise, but we'll, we'll get to that. Prey is brought to us from director Dan Thrachenberg, and it stars Amber Midthunder and Dane Gliegro, and is the latest film in the Predator franchise. In this movie, a young Comanche girl who really wants to become a hunter more than anything decides to prove herself by going out in the wild and hunting something that is hunting her. But soon, she begins to discover there is a monstrous killer that is out there, a creature of extreme power and extreme threat. This begins to lurk and hunt everyone in the area, and it soon becomes clear that it'll take more than what they have to defeat this new enemy. Now, Prey was something that I was initially not hyped for when they announced it, because the latest installments in the Predator franchise have been pretty much all letdowns to me. I really wasn't crazy about any of them. And while I think the first Predator movie is by far one of the best films ever made, Nothing after that has really lived up to it. So my expectations weren't too high for this film. After I saw the trailers, I think I was a little more excited, but still wasn't necessarily through the roof for this film. After seeing it, I think this film is very good. I won't say it's as perfect and the masterpiece that a lot of people are saying that it is, but I think it's good, and I think it does a good job at improving the formula, adding something new, and bringing something to the franchise we haven't seen before. I think the aesthetic to this film is excellent. The era it's set in and the way it builds this world and its new characters is just excellent and it's great to watch. I like that it's set with the Native Americans, something that I really enjoyed watching just because of that. I like that kind of film where it's set in a period where we had certain things going on, but I'm also a sucker for films with Native Americans in them, especially if they're really kicking ass like they are in this film. And I think this film does a pretty good job at mixing, like, this science fiction with sort of the mythology that would be in an Indian tale. This starts with a narration which kind of plays out like it's a story or a legend that would be among the Comanche tribe, and I really like that an awful lot. Her myth under is pretty good in here. I think she does a pretty good job. I think her performance at times is a little lacking. She doesn't always seem to be expressing the right emotions or enough, I think, fear sometimes that she should be. And sometimes the way her lines are delivered make her come across kind of condescending and annoying. She wasn't extremely likable for me, but that's not just because of her performance, because her performance is pretty good. She does give a very human and physical one. It's also the writing. She has basically no lines in this movie. She just pretty much is a participant, but she really doesn't get to do a lot in this movie in regards to the Predator. She kind of just watches and is an observer of what does happen, and I think that kind of takes the film down a little bit, because when your protagonist isn't in it as much, it kind of just doesn't make you invest in them, especially when you don't know that much about any of these characters, because I think they struggle with fleshing out most of the people in here, and some people are just here and they're gone. Also, the majority of the people in this movie that are part of the Native Americans and the other people are pretty much just there to die. And it's obvious. And I didn't really like that. The Predator also, I don't think his power set is that great in this movie. He's not as intimidating as I really wanted him to be. He's kind of underwhelming. And I think another issue with this movie that I think it highly suffers from, which is more than anything else, are all of the missed opportunities in the film. For instance, there's a scene where she is tied up and the Predator is coming. And that makes for an interesting scene, but they make certain things happen, which take away any tension you would have for making that a great scene. However, this movie is not bad. Don't believe that. It's actually very, very good. As I said, the whole thing where it plays out as a legend, I really like that. The action is great. There's this wonderful one-take fight scene in the movie that I won't spoil for you why it's happening or anything. It's just really good. Also, the Predator fights a bear in here, which was very satisfying to watch. And her brother in here is awesome. He's my favorite character in the movie. He's extremely likable, and you understand things from his point of view. I think he's pretty cool. I like her as a character as well. I just feel like I didn't get to know her well enough, and the film does kind of play in that same trope that we've seen a lot of the person who everyone's doubting. They're trying to prove themselves, so it becomes a little, like, by the numbers after a certain point, but 
overall, there are some scenes I really like. The Predator has some amazing moments, and there's some really brutal things, but I think this film could have been a little more brutal, actually. That's something odd to say, but that's just genuinely how I feel. I feel like they didn't show how tough this thing really was. I do think the way they take the Predator and have a way to try to figure out how to kill it is genuinely cool. They found a smart way to do it. I was really worried about that. I think the action is great. The music is phenomenal. And this movie, it looks very gorgeous. I had fun with the movie and I enjoyed it. It's only 90 minutes. Very well paced. It just gets right to the point. It doesn't waste your time. It gets you in there and gets you out and you've had an enjoyable watch. But overall, I think Prey does suffer from a lot of issues that I think are being overlooked. However, I think that Amber Midlander really helps to elevate this movie by tr just doing her best with everything that she's given, and she's extremely physical in this movie, and I really like that. This film is by no means perfect, but it's no my by means bad either. I think it's just a pretty good movie that I honestly think you should go watch. I think this movie is also very accessible in the sense that if you've not seen the other Predator movies, you could sit down, watch this, and enjoy it. So I think that's another addition to this movie that makes it even better. And I think it's worth your time to go check out. It's on Hulu right now, and it's something that I liked and I had fun with. I'm going to give Prey a 7 out of 10. So thank you guys as always so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you all.